Hello and welcome to this setup tutorial for the board game Black Angel. If you'd also like to learn this game, then I have a separate video for that. First, let's get it ready on the table. I'll be setting it up for four players. To get everything on camera, I have to start with this part first. Take out all these chevron tiles. If you want, you can shuffle them, it doesn't matter much. Start placing them against each other. The main board is going to come here, so make sure you place them like this and not the other way around. When you're done, you can take this little planet token and place it at the top right here. You can also take this miniature of the Black Angel spaceship and place it right in the middle here. Alright, this part is done already. Don't change a thing. Well, maybe take out this bigger tile with a planet on it and leave that out on the table somewhere. Let me slide this up to make room for the main game board. I place it here, like this. Now the artwork matches up where these two sections connect. For now, there's only one thing to place on the board. Dice. The green ones go here on this green section. These grey ones that look slightly blue to me go in this section. No need to roll them, that comes later. And the last set of dice is this one. They go in this section. The game calls it orange, my eyes call it yellow, so I'll compromise and call it golden. If you're setting it up for three players, remove one die from each color. If you're setting it up for two players, remove two dice from each color. Now let's put some things around the board. You have these tiles in the same color, green, grey and gold. Shuffle each stack and keep them with this side up, the one that shows this red cube here. I won't shuffle the other two, but feel free to pause the video if you're setting it up with me. When you're done, take the top tiles from each stack, shuffle them a bit to make it random, and then place the tiles on these spaces here. Why not here? Because that's where the black tiles go. Here is the stack, shuffle it. When you're ready, place a face-up black tile on each of these spaces. There are some things to make a supply of next to the game board. There are these red cubes, these clear diamonds, and these little spaceships. Place all of this close by. There are cards. Here are the red ones. They are the enemy, but they still deserve to be shuffled. When you're ready, place this red deck face down near the game board. If you're with four players, this is fine as it is. If you're with three players, remove six red cards from the game. If you're with two players, you remove twelve cards from the game. Then flip over the top card. The card will show a number here in the top middle. That means you have to place this card in the section with that number. So here, it goes face up. After that you place one red cube right by where you just placed the red card. And you do all of this one more time. Take the top red card, the card will tell you where it's supposed to go, place it there, and also add a cube. In case the red card showed the same number as the first one, just place the card on top of the other one. More cards, the ones in the familiar colors, green, 
gray, and gold. Separate and shuffle each deck. When you're ready, place them face down next to the red deck. Each player can already take one card from each deck. So everyone starts the game with four cards in hand. Speaking of players, let's get out everything for the people at the table. Choose a color, I'll go for pink. So I take this pink player board that goes in front of me. I've got a pink disc that can go on the scoring track. Everyone starts the game with five points. Place it there. Another pink disc. That's to mark which section of the game board is mine. I'm over here, so it's best if I claim this bit. My pink disc goes here to indicate that. And I've got some little pink robots. Here they are. Everyone can place one of their robots on the green space, and the gray space, and the golden space. And five of everyone's robots can go right in the middle of the board. The rest of these robots go next to the game board as a supply. Best to not keep them too close before you accidentally take one from the supply, which is not allowed. I've got my own three pink tiles. On the other side, they all look the same for each player. Place your tiles face up on your own player board. You can see three of the spaces are highlighted. That's where your tiles go. Every player can also take one clear diamond resource, one red cube, and one little spaceship. You can see on your own player board what goes where. Everyone can also take one die from each color. Roll the dice and then place them in your own section. Time to pick a first player. For now that'll be me, so I get this first player token. I'm not sure why there is one, because I also get this particular information sheet with the number 1 on it to indicate I'm the first player. The person to my left gets the info sheet with the number 2, and so on. Every player except me gets to take something extra for the start of the game. It'll say so at the top of your sheet. Player 3 and 4 even get to place one of their dice in this space with a lock on it. As first player I get nothing. If you're with two players, check the rulebook for what else you have to set up. But I'm done getting everything ready for Black Angel. You're good to go. If you'd like to know what to do, follow me to the tutorial. Thank you for watching, feel free to leave a comment and see you for the next one.